I'm Christian. And I'm Paul. And uh, we decided to do a nautical bridge for our bridges um, project. Yeah. Uh, the reason we chose a nautical bridge is because um, we saw like other students doing some, something to do like really has a lot to do with like the actual science subject and we decided to do something unique and different so we just decided why not a bridge that's on a boat and a nautical bridge is like the command center on a boat so we decided to do that and see how it improves teamwork within groups and people. Yep. So uh, what we did, we played a game that was called Space Team. It's a very chaotic party game where all the players have to are in charge of their own unique little section of a, bri of a boat, sorry, or a spaceship rather. And it's their goal to work together as a team to try and get as far as they can without their ship breaking apart. And um, we saw that the game isn't meant to be played with a designated captain. So what we had was we had a team playing normally with just the four of them, and we also had a team with a captain. So they had the extra little bit of help to try and get them through. And uh, we had them play for the same amount of time and at the end, we compared how well the team with the captain worked and how well the cap team without the, without the captain worked. And uh, what we found was the team with the captain played really, really well. They, they had a little trouble adjusting at first, but when they got into the swing of things, they realized how useful the captain was and they played much, much better than the team without. And uh, we saw this as an opportunity where if groups without a captain just had the element of a captain put into their team, they'd perform much better, and it didn't have to be in a game. It could be uh, at work, at a group of people doing, a, or at school, like us, where we're doing a project in groups.